Fitness is a huge part of your sleep. So here with some exercises to help you relax, reduce the stress, and get ready for bed, please welcome our fitness expert, Brent Bishop. Yes. Pajamas, because we want to talk a little bit about what you can do right before bed, but also yes. why it's important that you work out and how you have to schedule the time. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, sleep is one of my most favorite things to do. Oh, it's and so I think good. A lot of us it is. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it's, it's sleep can actually, it obviously is very important, critical to overall health, but also exercise can benefit um, by actually helping sleep and yes. vice versa, actually. Okay, so, so you say you should schedule your exercise in. When do you need to do it? It's about bed? scheduling it and, and personalizing it as well. So okay. you're supposed to get about 30 minutes of. Now this would be moderate to vigorous exercise. Yeah. So not just light a light walk. It's, yeah. it's going to have more of an effect if it's moderate to vigorous. Okay. 30 minutes, five days a week. So that's 150 uh, minutes per week. Yeah. Uh, and then try to personalize it to you. So, you know, a lot of times people, should I work out in the morning? Should I work out in the evening? I love to work out in the morning, but it's yeah, all about too. when you have the energy and when it fits your lifestyle. That's right. It doesn't matter when you yeah. do it, just when it's are you going in, to do it, it yeah. right? Limit your excuses, obviously. Um, before bed, is it okay if you work out right before bed or is that going to keep you up? You know, it depends on the person. Yeah. I, it's even if it keeps you up a little bit, you know, you try to have it, you know, have a couple hours at least before bedtime, but you know, if you have to, then yeah. get it in because it's going to benefit you more than, than be detrimental. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you've made it personalized, you've scheduled it in, and you say the other key, you got to stick with you, it. You got to, like anything, you got to stick with it. But research, research also shows that it's important, the longevity of it, right? So right. long term effects are going to worry, you're going to notice the difference. Okay. Um, sometimes it can take weeks to months before yeah. you actually notice significant impact on your sleep. Okay. So stick with it, schedule it in, and you're going to be more consistent that way. It's about yeah. the continuity. So Absolutely. you don't have to go out and do an hour every day. It's just try and do something every day. Some 30 a little something, something got every 30 day. Minutes, right? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. let's start with some exercises. And maybe you're not doing these right before bed because they are, you know, a little bit more involved. Yeah, the, the importance is the combination, right? It yes. should be, you should get some strength training, some cardiovascular work, and then some stretching as well. Okay. So it's the combination that has the most beneficial effect as opposed to separating them, even okay. though they do have separate uh, and overlapping uh, impacts on, on sleep as well. Okay, so exercise make sure you get number them all one. In. Exercise number one, again, this isn't something you're doing right before bed. It's, you mentioned relaxing exercises. Yes. This is one that's a little bit less relaxing. <laughs> Every time we but, tell you we want to relax, this yeah. is what you come up with. This well, the, is how the important many part here. The important, Jumping I don't jacks relax very often. skipping. Uh, the important thing here is you're getting multiple muscles, multiple joints active, uh, higher demand for oxygen to your muscles, so you're yeah. getting the cardiovascular benefit as well as the strength. So we're kind of combining things here. Okay. It's called a crossover lunge with a press. So you're going to step across and press up at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you're also getting a little coordination here for yes. your brain, right? Yeah. So circulation to the brain is known to also help with sleep as well. Okay, so you do yes. them on that side, you do them on the other side. 15 reps per side, 15 two reps to three per sets side. within your routine, okay. and you're good to go. Next exercise. So that's number one. Next exercise is going to be a bent over scapular retraction. So you want to get into a position where you have a nice natural curve in your mm -hmm. low back. Uh, hands are here. You can have yep. weights for this as well. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together without elevation of the shoulders. This feels Draw so good Draw your hands up to the rib cage. Yeah, so feel the blades. Yeah. Like, like you're squeezing a walnut between the shoulder yep. blades. Again, benefit of this is to counteract a lot of those negative forces that have happened during the day with sitting. That's right. On your phones, on your computers, right? The other disease we're going to have to deal with in a whole show. It's a right? big one. We're it's sitting a big one. too much. Absolutely. Okay, next exercise, you've got a side plank yes. extension happening here. So you're going to go into your side plank. Most of us are familiar with the side plank. Again, yep. there's modifications to these. But from here, we're going to get the core and hips both active at the same time. So your obliques, your core, and your glutes. So you're going to extend. Ooh, how relaxing. And pull back. <laughs> Very relaxing. <laughs> well, listen, these are muscles, these are muscles Ooh, that are, I feel like going to bed now. are quite inactive during the day for most of us. So yeah. it's important to engage those muscles. The modification would be just bend one knee, and you can do the exact same thing. Wow. Okay, right? take some coordination. Take Make some coordination. sure you do both sides. Now I'm going to join you, you for join some in. stretches. Okay, Let's perfect. do some stretches. This is my jam. Okay, so these can be done right on your bed or on the floor beside your bed. Okay. So a lot of us are familiar with your typical uh, hip flexor stretch. Yes. So this is similar, but we're going to stretch something called a TFL, which is a hip flexor, but also runs into your IT band. Okay. okay? Which can't be stretched, by the way. It's a connective oh, tissue. Oh, the IT that band can't be stretched. It's not a contractile tissue. So you can stretch above it yeah. and then help with that. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your left leg over as far as you can. This takes a okay. little bit of balance. Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> right. So bring your right hand up and yeah. over. And you're gently oh, pushing your hip good. in the opposite direction of your lean. Okay. And again, you're probably feeling that Are from you the pushing obliques. your hip that way? Yes. Okay, good. As you lean this way. So you're going to yeah. probably feel obliques all the I way down it. to the I hip. I feel it. I feel it. TFL and so on. This is such a good stretch. Yeah. Ah, Very good. Okay, so what do you got next? Two, uh, two, two times 30 seconds on yeah. both sides, and you're good with that. Okay. Uh, next one, we get to actually sit down. So you're going to sit down. 
Uh, we'll go a little bit this way so we can yeah. see what's happening. So what you want to do is you want to grab your elbows if you can or your forearms. Okay. Okay, so you're kind of hugging your legs here. Yeah. And then from there you're going to tuck your chin down, which is important because all your extensors go from the, the lumbar spine all the way up to the back of the skull. Yeah. So you want to maximize that stretch. And then you're going to lightly pull away as you round your back out. That's really good. That? This is the thing you do, ladies, when you're wearing a strapless dress and you want good cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't see it right now, but also my cleavage is actually perfection. <laughs> so good. So you also want to make sure you uh, get that deep breathing. Hold for 10 seconds. Right? Yeah. Deep breathing is also going to help you know, to kind of tone down your parasy uh, parasympathetic nervous system right. and relax the muscles further, right? No, I was saying that I'm a stomach sleeper, so I'm always looking for exercises that can round my back in the other way, and this is a good yeah. one. And it's, a, it's a safe way of doing it because yes. you're, you're not loaded on it. Absolutely. Weight, right? Okay, do you have any okay. more? Do I have, have one more for one? you. Yeah, so you're going to lie on your back. Okay. So this is your typical crossover stretch for the low back, can hip, I... and spinal uh, mobility. So you're going to take your right knee, bring it towards the chest. Yeah. Now cross over, allow that to drop to the ground. Important thing here is to keep your opposite shoulder, so your right shoulder is on the ground. And then you're going to take your left hand, grab yeah. the back of the knee, and pull up towards your shoulder, your left shoulder. Oh, You'll this is You'll feel that travel good. more into the low back by doing Everyone so. do it, just joking. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah. So these are the kind of stretches you can do right before bed. Absolutely. And once you get into the routine of moving every day, you're going to find your sleep improves. It makes a dramatic difference. It really right? does. You go to bed relaxed, your yeah. nervous system's kind of calmed down, and you can doze off to La La Land.